22. Limit right. as x approaches 0 of the sine of x times 1 minus the cosine of oh. x over 2x to the 6. Okay. Uh, Huh? One minus cosine of x is zero. Why? Oh, so the total thing is zero. Okay, so that's zero. Also, the sine of zero is zero. And zero to the six times two is also zero. So you get zero over zero. So you got, so, uh, you got zero over zero. Right? So we might not have a vertical asymptote. We might have a hole. And then it might exist. Okay. Um, so we went over this briefly. Do you remember? And then I got two special rules, like two special yeah. rules. X over X limits. Yeah. Sine of X over X is one. X goes to zero. The sine of X over X is one. And then the limit as X goes to zero, one minus cosine of X equals zero. Cosine of X over X equals zero. So, ideas. After a couple of X's, I have a bottom. Get a couple of X's, you know, break this into the yeah. product of several limits. Yeah, I, I kind of broke it up as like sine of X over X times uh, <laughs> 1 minus the cosine of X over X one times 1 over X. So we got uh, sine of X over X times 1 minus cosine X over x times 1 over 2x to the fourth. When you count that all together, would that be the fall? That would be the same thing as about. No. We get uh, 1 and 0. And then now we have 1 over 0. So we still have got. Um, it tends to be right 0, and it tends to be 0, and it's not going to work. So we've got three different um, limits. This one goes to one. This one goes to zero. Um, so we know what those are. So this total is zero, right? Times two, uh, those two things is zero. This thing here, what is that getting close to as x gets close to zero? Huh? Asymptote. So which way is it going? Is it going Negative? Why do you think negative? Well, I see. Positive. Positive. Yeah, it has to be positive then since since they uh it's it's the bigger, it's the e bit of power and you can't have <coughs> negative denominator then. Uh, uh, because if you have a little tiny, tiny, tiny um decimal then it will be a little bit of a little bit of a Because if you uh, divide one mm -hmm. by uh, a decimal to a high power, I'm pretty sure it gives you a big number. Uh -huh. Whereas if you divide one by a, a big number in a big exponent, then you'll get a really small number. Yep. And so it'll, well, from your perspective, would be really high up towards infinity and then go down. All right. Okay. Right. 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 Exactly. Very good. Very good reasoning. Um, so then this will go towards infinity, right? From both directions. From both directions. Yeah. Um, when zero comes to infinity, will that just equal zero? Well, no, not necessarily. Sometimes yes, and sometimes no. Just because it's all in one limit. Because this is something that we'll talk about uh, later, and that's well, maybe we will, and that's where L'Hopital's rule comes in. Let's see. This. This limit is zero, but what we're saying is it's getting close to zero. And this goes to infinity. 
which means it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's getting close to infinity, okay? But then which one is doing what it does faster is kind of the thing that it comes down to, right? Is this going to infinity faster than this is going to zero? Or is this going to zero faster than this is going to infinity? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, which definitely has to do, well, is something, like how fast is it doing something? It's definitely the rate of change. And that definitely has to do with the slope. Right? And it has to do with uh, stuff we haven't quite gotten to yet. We're just doing limits so far. Um, so we have zero, we have infinity. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're not going to have a whole and an asymptote. Um, hmm. functions going to be faster. It's hard to say. Oh, it's just a man. Yeah, it's going to be faster. It's not exist, so infinity is going to win out. But mm -hmm. the answer is that it does not exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist. I didn't put one like this in the test, but. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. How does it not? Because you can't fit zero. Sure zero to make it stay like it's a hole. Yeah. And then he says, no, it's a typical asymptote. Yeah, they're kind of like, who, who wins? That is going to work. In a way. OK, well, let me <laughs> let me think about that when I get back to you. But it's just a practice there. Oh, there it is. Sign. Sign. Eight. X plus X is 7. Okay, so we again have a special limit situation. We do the limit as X goes to infinity, not infinity, 0, uh, the sine of X over X. That's uh, well, that's except that's for we only have, that's only one of the signs. So what if we did, it, sine of the eighth means sine of x to the eighth. So how about to the seventh? And x to the seventh times another sine of x. That's just sine of x. So uh, one to the seventh? What's yeah. that? One to the seventh times sine of x. Yeah. Yes, this would be one to the seventh. Yeah, this would be like this fraction to the seventh. And so this would be one to the seventh. So this part would go to one. This part would go to what? Whatever it is. We just go to, we can plug this in the sine of x, it's a nice function of itself. Everything. So we put zero in there, and this would get what? Zero. Zero. Sine of zero is zero. So zero times one. Zero. That's zero. So we can say one to the seventh power times zero. Yeah. So the answer would be does not exist, or? It would be zero. It approaches the value, zero is the value, and it approaches zero. Okay. And 21. Uh, and the answer for 21 is 7, I think it said. It's a negative 7, but I'm just getting the same problem if we were getting 22. Um, let's. I separated it out, and I did like 4 minus the percent of x over x is 0. And I'm negative 14 over x. Yeah. Let's that skip that one for the moment. Okay. All right. Okay, besides the terminology features, I think I have one more question. I, I got Holly. She's, she's been waiting. Um, can. You show one of like 33, 34, 35. 33, 34. You can pick. I, I can pick, you said? Yes, you can. Okay. Not 35. Not 35? Because you have that down? Okay. <laughs> maybe 33. Okay, maybe 3. So the limit as x approaches 15 from the right, that's what that means. x plus 2 over negative x plus 15. Oh, yeah, that's another one. Uh, well, now I don't want you to mistakenly think that 1 over 0 equals infinity. Okay. But here's, here's what happens. And it, Gavin said it earlier. As we put numbers that are close to 15 in here, we're going to have the difference of 15 and a number that's really close to 15. So the difference is going to be very small. Right? Now, is that difference going to be a positive difference or a negative difference? Like, and this is what the sides of the problem, right? It's going to be a positive difference. Oh, it's yeah. going to be a, well, it's going to be negative in the dominant.
Why would it be negative? Well, because it's going to be from the right. Well, so the right of 15. So it's so going to be bigger than the other yeah. 15, and so it's always yeah. going to be a bigger negative. Right. So 15 minus something slightly larger, right, to the right of 15. Uh, so 15 minus 15 point something small is going to just be that something small negative, right? Negative something really, really small. Um, so we're going to get whatever, some number over a really small negative number, okay? So what happens when you divide a number by a really small number? And what happens when you divide a number by a really small negative number? Negative huge. Negative huge. Negative infinity. It's negative huge, yeah. So negative infinity. Oh, I thought that's what I thought it was a bar or something. Okay, I took that. If you just get zero in the denominator, now you're looking at most likely a vertical asymptote. When we put 15 into the oh, numerator, yeah, 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 it's a, it's a we just get 17. So, yeah, yeah, no hole there. Right? Yeah, Why are you in pretty big perfect? Yeah, really? for you. Mine are just, ugh. I started practicing them I in 2005. Yeah. Okay. For real, I got that's serious right. about it. You really got serious about it? I mean, I did some amateur stuff in high school, but. Wow, wait. Whoa, that one's good. You even matched up. I went pro in college. <laughs> Look at that. Had to write infinity. You matched up. All right, what's next? That was 33. <laughs> so you'll know. Oh. Are we ready to go? I'm pretty but sure I made sure to keep those off, yeah. unless there was a pretty yeah. simple one. This is going to be a simple one. Still <laughs> oh, sorry, Diana. But I, I, I'm fairly uh, sure I didn't put any on there. Uh, Anybody have any extra slides? Yeah. 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 See that? The thing about those special trig limits, sine of x over x and 1 minus both sine of x over x, uh, is that you should be aware they exist, you should be ready to uh, go back and reference them, and be prepared for the slight possibility they may take advantage of those on the AP test. But it's so slight that I, it's not something I really want to force you to use memory space for. Are you nervous? We've got a good approach. We got some labs. I think these labs are gonna help us get this stuff. You guys got so quickly that the slope was the rate of change, and it took a long time in the previous years. So when we did that lab with the beach ball, and you guys saw the connection, and it really is is a fantastic stuff. I like that because then I remember yeah. 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 That's concrete. Remember what the graph is, what it represented. That's, that's really good. I was really excited uh, when we were having that discussion that day. That was really cool. All right, so no more questions? We're all ready to go? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, we're getting a lot of here. I can benefit from it. Can, can, we'll it, but for it's can we please, for the beginning of the year, have our unit circles? Because I had it memorized last year, but I forgot over the summer. This is the first and remember. last test that you can use those on. Okay. 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 Magical! Hey, it might have been a lot I got it if you think you'll need it, I'll I'll look one up. I'll I'll pull one up here in a bit. Oh. Uh, and it'll be accessible for people who didn't bring them. You're so nice.